notice as the show goes on, I do all of my confrontation online, you see. I'm basically an online troll, essentially, as well. <laughs> so I'm not good at like, real life confrontation. I've been trying to get more, like, a bit more manly. I've, been, I've got into football. <laughs> So, I'm from Birmingham. I'm as surprised as you are. And <laughs> I support West Brom. Are there any football supporters in? <laughs> oh, some people. Oh, you support. Who do you support? Ipswich Town. Ipswich Town. <laughs> Fuck <Yeah. laughs> They're taking over! <laughs> he hello there. Are you, is everything OK? <laughs> are, they are they good? Ipswich? Are they doing all right? So I started becoming a fan of West Brom because my friend Karen said that they're the best team, statistically inaccurate, that. <laughs> and so we went to watch one game. We went to watch one in the um, stadium. So I forgot the word stadium there. I was going to say velodrome. I can't do football. We <laughs> went to watch one in the stadium. But before that, we went to this proper old man pub in Birmingham. And, like, the woman behind the bar, how to describe her? She looked like a scrotum. <laughs> She didn't like me, because I ordered a white wine spritzer. <laughs> Fuck's that? <laughs> Soda water and white wine. She went behind the bar for a worrying amount of time, came back with a pint of soda water <laughs> and a full bottle of dessert wine. <laughs> I don't know, that would be a fiver. <laughs> Best night of my life. I <laughs> love the football. Oh, I, did, I got caught out at one point, because I shouted, come on, the lads. Apparently that's not acceptable as a phrase. <laughs> I love an old man pub as well, because I, I go with my friend Karen quite a lot. And there's one in Birmingham, um, it's called the Tap and Spile, and it's open until about 4am every night. And it's like full of proper brummies with no neck. And um, <laughs> I haven't got a neck. And um, she got hit on the one night. This guy came up to her and he went, what's your name? And she went, fuck off. <laughs> went, That's a lovely name. <laughs> And he asked her what her favourite TV show is. She said Sex in the City. And he went, oh, well, I like Sex on the City, you know. It's <laughs> a good joke, that. It's a bloody good joke. Um, but yes, I'm not that masculine, not that, um, not that good at confrontation. I did have to do some confrontation recently. You do a lot of driving with this job. And I stopped recently at a service station, quite late at night, just getting some food. I wasn't getting any fuel. And this gentleman got off a motorbike behind me, who'd obviously worked on one muscle group more than the others in the gym. So it's quite sort of top-heavy, but then sort of withered down below. <laughs> so it, it looked like a cornetto with a head. <laughs> like a spinning top shaped into a twat. It's very, very aggressive, very aggressive, really pushy. I went to the service station, he pushed him behind me. I went over to have a look at the sandwiches, and he shouted to the woman behind the counter, who was sat there with a little e-cigarette, which was giving out a sarcastic amount of smoke, really, just sort of billowing around. It. She looked like she had some bloody stars in their eyes, just like there. And, there. <laughs> and he shouted, why isn't the pump on? And she went, it's after ten, you have to pay first, that's the rule. And he went, oh, what, you don't think I can pay for it? She went, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. It's after ten, you have to pay first. That's the rule for everybody. I think it's at the point when he picked up a fire extinguisher and started swinging it around. I became really fascinated in the sandwiches at that point. I was like, oh, my God, chicken and bacon? What are we the ingredients on this one? Just staring out blind fear. He's like, nobody thinks I can't pay for this. You, mate, pointing at me. You think I can pay for it. I'm not sure how I did this, because I was nervous and frightened, but I think I just went... Ah. <laughs> Shitting myself. Put the fire extinguisher down. He said, if you don't put that pump on, when I go out there, I'm going to create big problems for you. She said, I'm not going to put the pump on. He did my favourite thing anyone's done in anger. He just threw a Twix on the ground. <laughs> Seems like a reasonable response, doesn't it? The old Twix throwing trick. He went over fanning out with his motorbike. I went over with a prawn mayonnaise, if you're interested. And she started, started scanning it really slowly. And I said, are you going to put that pump on? And she went, no. <laughs> Delighted, relishing in it. I scuttled back to the car, locked the doors. He tried to get back into the service station, but cleverly she'd locked the doors to there. So he tried to kick them in, but didn't work. He's withered down below. So <laughs> picked up a pack of fire logs, started swinging them at the 24 hour window. She knows it's bulletproof glass, so she was just laughing. And just got <laughs> smoke pissing everywhere. I started the car, tried to drive round, but I'm a polite driver. I'm not going to like beat my horn or anything. He was in the way. So I just. I need the prawn sandwich, to be honest. It's not even there. <laughs> One thing I forget to do when I'm in the Ford Fiesta is, um, and I slipped that in, didn't I? Someone's got some bloody dollar, haven't they? Ford Fiesta. 
the lights are always sort of on, and there's a little switch, and if you go a little bit, it goes on to sort of mini beam, and if you go a bit further, it goes on to full beam. And because I was nervous and frightened, I clicked onto full beam, but very quickly clicked back, but essentially flashed him. <laughs> he turned and looked at me through the windscreen with these fire logs, just staring into my soul for what felt like an eternity. I farted out of nervousness again. <laughs> and then he just went, oh, so sorry, mate, and walked out of the way! I stalled the car and drove home to Birmingham. So. <laughs> God, that was so good, wasn't it? If you enjoyed that, stick around, watch some more, if you like. Like and subscribe, please. <laughs>